bakers in Oregon have been fined a whopping $135,000 for refusing to bake a cake for a lesbian couple. Now, Oregon has pretty strict laws against discrimination. If you are caught discriminating against someone because of their sexual orientation, you get penalized for it the same way that you would if you discriminated against someone based on their race or their gender. Now, uh, according to reports, the ruling by the Oregon Labor Commission upheld a previous finding that sweet cakes by Melissa had discriminated against the couple based on their sexual orientation. Uh, the bakery owners, Melissa and Aaron Klein, uh, were ordered to pay Rachel and Laurel Bowman Cryer $75,000 and $60,000 each respectively. I don't so, know why one got less than the other. I, I, don't, I don't know. The other one got know. less, be like, whoa, 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 what's going on oh here? <laughs> yes. So, uh, the, according to the ruling, uh, this case is not about a wedding cake or a marriage. It is about a business's refusal to serve someone because of their sexual orientation. Under Oregon law, that is illegal. Now, I understand that that's illegal, and I understand that there should be a penalty for it. There's no question that there should be a penalty. But I think that the penalty should fit the crime, and $135,000 is ridiculous. Like, how do you prove damages in that case? Mm -hmm. And I get it. You should not be discriminated against because of your sexual orientation. But they have to come up with a number that makes sense. I just feel like $135,000 is probably there to serve as a deterrent so other businesses don't do it. But I think you can come up with a more reasonable number that will also serve as a deterrent. Yeah, I know. To, to the naked eye, when somebody says, hey, I'd like a cake, and the guy says, no, I don't want to give you a cake. All right, then give me $135,000. Seems a little weird, right? Uh, but I, I think that uh, that last quote that Anna read uh, to you is really, really important. So think about it this way. Uh, that discrimination that they're doing is uh, decided by the state of Oregon to be the same discrimination. And now uh, throughout the, uh, the land, uh, there's the same ruling that, hey, you know what? Um, if a black person is getting married to a white person and you go in and you say, I'd like to uh, either eat at your establishment or I'd like to get uh, a cake from your establishment, whether I eat there, right? I eat a pie in your diner, or I eat the, get the cake for my wedding, and the guy goes, no, I, I don't like it when the races mix. And so since you're marrying an N-word, I'm not going to give you the cake. You go, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's totally different, mm -hmm. right? No, but it's actually not that different. You're doing a discrimination based on a category you're not supposed to discriminate on, right? According to the law of Oregon. So the question isn't, are you getting the $135,000 for the cake, the question is, they're being punished, basically taking the $135,000 for the discrimination. So, so to set a tone, to let other people in the state of Oregon know, and other businesses know, hey, you know what, if you do unfairly discriminate against certain types of Americans, uh, it's going to cost you a pretty penny, and you, so you better watch out. Exactly. Right. Now, I should note, though, even though the Supreme Court ruled that same-sex marriage should be or is constitutional in the United States. There are currently 31 states in the U.S. that have no protections for gay individuals or members of the LGBT community. So recently there was a story of this uh, business owner, I think he was a hardware owner, hardware store owner in Tennessee who put up a sign indicating that he would not serve gay people. And it was totally legal in the area that he lived in, again, because gay people are not protected under the Civil Rights Act. So there's still a lot of work to be done for the gay community, and depending on which state you're in, you can or can't discriminate if a gay couple comes into your business and asks for services. Yeah, so I want to be clear about that. Uh, so in that state that Anna's talking about, you're still, because the Supreme Court only can get married, mm -hmm. right, if you're a gay couple. But uh, it is not necessarily discrimination to, to according to the law, uh, to say, well, I will not service that wedding, right? In Oregon, it is against the law, yes. and that's why they're being punished. So but, it varies state to state. Yes. So, uh, nonetheless, I want to drop it here. All right. Here's what the Supreme Court about is about. Still, is one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars too much dough for the cake? And it's. It's an absurd conversation because the point is that they shouldn't do it and they should suffer some consequences. And I know it's super subjective as to what the numbers should be, and it's partly dependent on what would be a deterrent for the business. Right. But I can't help but say it's too much. I agree with you. I agree with the ruling um, that they discriminated and that that's against the law. I don't agree with the amount. I think that you could have easily fined them 
$5,000, and that would have still served as a deterrent. People don't want to pay $5,000 yeah. for breaking a law. So I think 100, I don't, I feel like the number that they came up with is subjective. I don't know how they came up with that number. I think it's a little ridiculous, including the fact that one member of the union got more than the other. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, I, I, there must have been some reason behind it. All right, JR, uh, thoughts? Oh, well, think about it. I mean, if, if it was $5,000, that particular group may be like, oh, damn, $5,000, I hate this. I don't want to do this anymore. But you wouldn't hear about it. Other groups wouldn't even pick up on it. The whole point is, I think, I don't know how it works, but it's supposed to be exorbitant, and then you don't want to have to deal with this anymore. I, I've always think when people do horrible things like this and end up being guilty or having the lawsuit come against them, there's so many people who get put in jail for the rest of their life for very minor things, and we just kind of go, whatever, fuck it, you've got to pay $135,000. They probably don't even have it, first of all. Yeah, but, well, they already shut down. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they, uh, by the way, they're online now. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm sure they got help from their conservative buddies and all that stuff, right? But uh, they shut down the physical store because they're like, God damn it, if we can't discriminate, what kind of business are we going to run here? Right. Yeah, they might have literally said, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, so you're saying yes on the 135. Yeah, days. it's too much, but that's why it's too much. So that you'd be like, damn, I'd rather not pay $135,000. I'll have to swallow my pride and bake these gay people a cake. You know? But like $100,000 wouldn't be a deterrent. <laughs> $50,000 wouldn't be a deterrent. You know? Like I feel like if they were fined $50,000, everyone would hear about it and it would definitely serve as a and deterrent. And would we be saying that's too much? I don't know. But so look, so that's why it's an interesting question. You know what? Let's do a poll on this too. Go to the TYT app. You just download it by go, typing in TYT in the app store. Uh, and is $135,000 too much or not? We're split on it. JR says it, it, it's it's not uh, too much. Um, uh, Anna says it is too much. And and for me, I think look, if I went in and I'm going to get married, and some guy insults me, my wife says, "Oh, I'm not going to serve any dirty Turks, any cakes around here," and then he says terrible things about uh, my wife, who's Chinese, I'd be really pissed, right? And then if the court turned around, or you know, the government turned around and gave me $135,000, my reaction would be. Go back to that same guy and be like, bake me a pie now, bitch. <laughs>